Hey, what's going on, Knuckles family? Knuckles crew with your boy, R. Knuckles. Can I with, with you? I don't know if it's an announcement video, but an upcoming video. And I should say that it's unofficially summertime. But technically, the, the date of summer, the official day of summer, has not gone by yet. But after, you know, the start of Memorial Day weekend, it's like the unofficial start of summer. That's right. I hope you guys had an amazing Memorial Day weekend. Always love Memorial Day weekend because, you know, for me, it's been getting get into summer. You guys know summer is my favorite time of the year. Favorite time of year, yes. I love spring, don't get me wrong, but like summer is my favorite time. If winter, I hate winter. Fall, I don't mind, I don't mind fall, but summer is my thing, and I am very, very excited. And of course, you know, with summer, that means summer game, which we all know fall game is like the big month, of, it's like the big season of the game. But for me, I love summer game, I love summer gaming as well. And as long as you guys know that the games I'm looking forward to playing this year. Now, before I say this, just to let you know. I might not be able to play all these games on camera. Hell, my name, I might not even get all these games. But, you know, it's just the games I'm looking forward to, which, by the way, not a whole lot of like, summer games that are coming out for me this year, which I'm like, not saying that they're bad, but, like, my list, list of summer games I'm excited to play for are kind of, like, a couple this year compared to what was last year. I don't have to rewatch that video from last year, but I want you know the games I'm excited to play and also, you know, some upcoming videos you guys are going to see on this channel as well. So, my first game I'm excited for to play this summer is... <laughs> You guys probably might get this, but Street Fighter 6. Five games are my favorite genre of video games. And y'all see my band with me and my friends playing that. Which we're not, by all means, perfect at the game. But, like, we're having fun with the game. But, you know, give us the actual game. We're, give us, we're gonna, you know, take some time to train. As you know, we're gonna have to play the game better. And give you some, you know, some commas. But I'm a Street Fighter fan. Like, the gameplay, like, better. And also, although I haven't got my hands on the actual game yet. I am excited that the fact there's actually content in this game compared to what, to, compared to what Street Fighter V gave us. Street Fighter V gives not, did not give us any content at all. Look, look bear, but the bare minimum. Where Street Fighter VI gives a whole lot of content. I'm very, very excited. So, Street Fighter VI, be prepared to see a lot of fight nights. Be prepared to see, you know, me possibly going to rank match and getting frustrated as hell because I hate rank matches. But I'm very, very excited for this game. I am planning on, you know, having as much content for the game as possible on this channel. Another game that comes out like two days right right after it is uh which is well actually both these guys are technically out right now is Diablo 4. I haven't played a bunch of Blizzard games. Uh, I mean I'm you know Overwatch, so I'm gonna get my ass kicked, but I haven't found co-op games. I played a little bit of Diablo 3. And I and I have even though it's for a little bit, I did have my I did have I did have some fun with that game. So I'm looking forward to Blizzard, I mean the Blizzard, uh Diablo 4. Now I'm not sure if anyone on my Discord plays Diablo, so I'll be sure to let people know, like, hey, you know, um, you guys play Diablo because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing that game online and, you know, play with a couple of friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, that should, that should be a fun game. So, I can't say too much. I can't say too much about it because I always play a little bit about it, a little bit of it, but I do love co op games. So, that's a game I'm not going to be playing. Now, this game, I'm kind of iffy about. I don't think I want to buy it for the price. Maybe a game where it's like free down the, down the line or maybe cheaper. And that's not Crash Team Rumble. I think I think it's called Crash Team Rumble. The game looks fun. It looks promising, but for the price of forty dollars, I don't know if it's worth it. Um, this kind of feels like you know maybe like a like a uh, digital game. Uh, I, I I don't know. I mean, Grant, I I haven't played it, but just look at the game. I'm just like Ugh, I'm not quite sure. It was a forty dollar game. Now I'm sure there's gonna be something that they're gonna buy and they're, they're gonna give us our thoughts about. Now, Grant, I don't go by what every reviewer says, but I do keep take that into consideration though. So there's been times where it's like I listen to a reviewer and I'm oh, I didn't agree with them. I thought this game was good. Or I'm like, well, this game I thought this game was actually pretty bad, but they liked it. But you know, we all have a different opinions. But you know, when you see one side leaning towards this way, majority, you're like, okay, so it's gotta be up here. And you only see like maybe like one or two people on that side. You're like. Hmm, okay, let's pay attention to this right now. So, that game it does look fun, but for $40, I'm just not sure if it's worth the price for me right there. Now, another game I'm looking forward to is Final Fantasy 16. I, I do love RPG games, fandom. And I'm going to say, I don't know if I'll be streaming this game, recording this game, because I'm already going through some videos that I record that I'm still uploading to this day. Like, if I, like if I wasn't working a 9 to 5 job, Upload videos would be a lot easier, but since I do, it's a bit tougher. Essentially, working two jobs, and I really only have times on the weekends to actually play these games. I just, it's gonna be tough, but maybe I might stream a game maybe once, but like to put it on YouTube. 
yeah, probably not gonna happen. But um, I still, it's still a game I'm looking forward to playing, and uh, yeah, like I can't say too much about it. Um, like I'm a fan of RPG games, but it looks really promising. So yeah, now July, one game I'm looking for, another game I'm looking forward to is uh, Expo Primal, the third person shooter game from Capcom, which I think Capcom has been on like on a great path as a reason because Resident Evil 4 remake per like per, per perfection. Um, Street Fighter 6 has already, been, has already been doing great reviews right now, so that's that's doing good. Uh, Expo Primal, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's going to add on to the list of Capcom greatest for this for this uh, of 2023. Now, I mean, it could, for all we know, it could be bad when the game comes out, but I think it looks pretty good. There's people that actually said that the game was actually not bad. So, uh, listen, you know I'm not the best at shooting games, but especially for a team-based shooting game, I, I got, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a shot. Like I said, it's Capcom, honestly. If they made early, like last generation, like 2011, th those are some pretty dark years of Capcom, in my opinion. I feel as you so the only game that was like really saving them was Street Fighter 4. But they were on now, Grim, Ultimate Second 3 was good too, but like their business proposition what wasn't really right at the time. But I feel so now, I feel so Capcom, you know, is doing better. Like, uh, like I said, not like extremely better, but like I feel like they're doing like I feel like they're on the right path with what the with the recent games. Like they're not, you know, they're not giving a shit. They're actually like, you know, giving us good quality games. Like I said, with uh, with Resident Evil 8 Village, that was a decent game. You know, the recent DLC came out. Not recent, but the the um, DLC came out at the end of uh, towards the end of last year. Uh, or that that pretty decent. Uh, and then you know, Resident Evil 4. Remake, excuse me, Street Fighter 6, now we have Xbox Prime, so you know, again, for all we know, the game could be bad, but, you know, with, with, with Capcom's recent history, I, I, I have a uh, faith that the game's gonna be good, but it'll be great, there remains to be seen, I'm not sure, so honestly, that's about it for what get, the summary I'm looking forward to, I still plan on, you know, doing other videos, like, there's not gonna be a new Mario Kart Core uh, DLC uh, pack coming out sometime this summer, don't know when, but we all know, you know, kind of the time frame, you know, it, it went from early this year, now probably in the middle middle of this year, and then towards the end of 2023, we get the last pack. Um, do that. Put some PS uh, Fantasy Star Online bloopers um, videos out there because you know I am a fan of Fantasy Star. You, you already know the story that you know I first played the Memorial Day weekend. It's been a summer game for me ever since. So I'm hoping to, you know to stream that game as well. Uh, do a lot more percent of four. Uh, not percent, percent of five. About um. Persona 5 Strikers, because I do have videos of that, but I think I'm going to start doing recording it, like, um, offline instead of streaming it, because for me, when it comes to streaming, I want every minute of you guys, you know, to see, like, some action. Like, I mean, I understand there's some talking scenes, but, like, I don't, want, I don't want to be stuck when I'm streaming, because offline, it's like, okay, I'm, stream, I'm recording this offline. I can edit, you know, the boring parts, whereas in you know, the streaming part, it's like, you might get to see the board because I want to see, you know, I want every minute to be useful for you guys. I don't want to waste a segment of your time. And don't get me wrong, Shrekers is fun, but I just feel as though there are times I'm like, wait, where I got to go? Okay, nothing's really going on over here right now. I don't want to bore these guys. So let me just, you know, yeah, yeah, to cut the edit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that I plan on, or, but that I plan on you know, uh, posting a lot more videos of. Plus, you know, the game takes place in the summertime. So, you know, this is the perfect, this is the perfect time. Um, so I got to upload Bayonetta videos. Um... Still, like I said, I'm sure I'll, I'll get some Mario Party videos in there. I'm sure I'll get some Jackbox games in there. But yeah, like the typical games I normally stream every now and then, I will be doing that during the summertime too. But uh, if there are some new summer games that are coming out that I haven't noticed, you know, so let me know in the comments section below. Also, be sure to check out, you know, my latest um, KMF Legends video. We have number two where we talked about Yusuke Yurameshi. Um, like I said, real life gets in the way, so we can't, like, you know, do this at a consistent pace. But we are going to give you guys more more episodes of legend. so don't worry about that so we're gonna try to do number three legend sometime like sooner than later because like i said it's been a bit minutes since we um since we did the first one so be sure to check out that also when time when this video is uploaded um it'll be friday uh june 2nd here in around the philadelphia area i will be at fan expo all weekend so please first in there please let me know meet up with you hang out like i said can't wait to see a lot of my friends over there like don't get me wrong, I went to the SumiCon in uh, March, that was a fun con, Thai Kingdom Con was fun too, but like, right now, right now, 
for now, for now at least, I'm really excited for this con right now because later on this summer, I'll be going to DreamCon. That I cannot wait for. Like that, I just like don't be wrong. DragonCon was fun, and I always have love for uh, New York Comic Con. But DreamCon, from what I've seen, for the, it, it looks like a lot of fun, and I've been going for the first time. And oh my god, I cannot wait! Cannot, not, not, not wait. But before all that gets to DreamCon, let me know if you're gonna be. Let me know if you're gonna be at the, at the Fantasy Club Philadelphia because. Super, super excited for that convention. Super, super excited for that. But yeah, short video for you guys. Um, this is a quick, 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 quick little update. Uh, like I said, and there's some games I should try out this year. Please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to be part of Knuckles family, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to share it to all your friends out there. And yeah, guys, uh, sign up for the summertime. Like I said, it, it brings joy. It's my favorite time of the year. And you know, I'm trying to make every moment count, man. So, you know, get this channel up and running. You know, get my Twitch as well, too. Be sure to follow me on that. So yeah, be sure to support. You know, also. Just, also, if you're part of my Discord too, be, just, be sure to support not just me, but my friends on there as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want everyone to succeed. I want everybody to eat. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, guys, uh, please like, comment, like this video, and yeah, see you guys in the next video. And also remember what J. Cole said there is no such thing as life better than yours. Take care, everybody. Have a good night.